Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you the OmniLight Laboratory, which is the integrated system for demonstration of different light-based effects and optics uh, using the light itself. As you might see, it's based on the combination of several different technologies of light display and manipulation. For example, this one is a laser display uh, allowing to uh, show the laser-based graphics, so the RGB laser projection system. And the second device here, above, is a DLP projection system, which in our case is also based on combination of a laser and laser diode uh, light source. One of the key features of the OmniLight laboratory is to combine the display which is provided by the DLP projection and the laser projection, for example, if we click to the predefined content which can be displayed in the analog way as a two-dimensional laser graphics, we can manipulate the laser graphics and laser light in a way that is not possible to do with the standard projections. Like, we can employ the uh, optical element uh, which uh, implodes the dispersion into the beam path and therefore we see the different light uh, colors that are moving in different way. This dispersion element could be moved in the real time and eventually it could be replaced by other, ele other elements like uh, the element of a piece of glass that is rotating and is producing these kind of nice uh, colors or the other, uh, let's say, physical experiments that is possible to do with the system with one click. So it's, for example, possible to uh, show to people the different principles of how the light is uh, working with the different optics and what does it mean in practice. So we don't need to show the pictures, you are actually doing the experiments yourself. So, let me show you then the other possibility, which is uh, based on the fact that the OmniLight laboratory has also the detection system that is very advanced, which is the uh, Microsoft Base Kinect sensor, which uh, uh, allows us to use this sensing device uh, based on infrared laser projection and the 3D scanning uh, combined with the RGB camera to distill different kind of information. For example, we can use it for the, for the contour laser writing uh, in the real time. Here you can see how the laser sensor in Kinect uh, works. So as I move through the room, you can see that the sensor is able to evaluate the 3D together with the RGB information and this system is actually used for control of uh, different parameters of your image so you can in real time combine it with a proper software which uh, allows you to manipulate uh, in a 3D uh, space and virtually do anything with the parameters that you define it could be uh, demonstrated in a way of the figure. So you can have a real-time figure, which is me moving, and uh, the figure could be uh, doing different, of course, nice things, but the important thing is that this could be used for the presentation how the optical principle of the 3D uh, sensing and uh, in the real-time manipulation of light could be used for. It is also possible to use this for drawing. You can move your hand and you can produce the pictures. Uh, of course, you need to learn how to do it properly. But you can still combine it with our optical elements that we already shown. So this is really, really nice experience that could be demonstrated not only by the presenter, but it can be used uh, for the interaction in the real time with uh, children and with students as well. For example, the
contour combined with uh, diffractive elements that you can see the different colors produce the RGB uh, lines actually and you can also make a very nice light painting activities out of this or the ghost-like figures One of the very interesting combinations is the combination of the camera with the projection system in a real-time feedback configuration. So if those two devices are essentially uh, looking to the same place, you have the situation which is very similar to the laser, to the resonator. Every small signal in this system is amplified and you see different modes by manipulating the, the light by my hand. The signal could be used for really interesting real-time effects that are uh, one of the closest way how to demonstrate the principle of the laser itself because uh, almost exactly the same processes are uh, simply the basics of the laser resonating structures. Another interesting and important option is uh, production of colors, different colors by LAD source, which uh, due to the size unfortunately was not yet fitted. So you see that it's quite a big device for having enough uh, light uh, to produce. Uh, and the smaller device uh, of course is possible to use but it's uh, too dim for uh, normal experiments. But uh, this device is uh, able to produce relatively very well focused and uh, very good defined colors in combination and with the diffractive elements you can also show the principle of the color mixing and different modes of uh, color manipulation. Yet another very interesting option is the combination of uh, the spectral uh, small fiber optic spectrometer with the possibility of measurement of real-time spectra and combined with the uh, color mixing experiments you can show the exa exact differences between LADs and normal standard tungsten halogen sources and so on. You might uh, actually see that the inner opening of this device is full of different devices and cables so even in this way uh, we have been able to open some more room for the devices that can be added as a, in the modular way as an additional content of the OmniLight laboratory. In this particular case uh, we have here the laser harp which we use during the festival of light of this wonderful outdoor installation and this is the heart of it so so this is a synthesizer the laser harp, harp controller combined with a sensor and uh, also some uh, manipulation of the different uh, parameters of the system so this is it uh, you need just to add uh, some pair of speakers and you have the full scale laser harp
this video you can see that the OmniLab laboratory system is actually very easy to pack up and uh, open for the different travel experiences so it's very easy to close it's very easy to move and so we opted for the standard rug, uh, rugged uh, case that is possible to travel without any problem So, the magic box is closed, thank you very much.